Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I will be showing you how to do these really intense green smoky eyes. So to begin with, I am just having a bare face and I am wearing these rollers just to get that extra bounce in my hair. So let's get started. For the eyes, I am using Elf's Mineral Eye Primer and I will be applying all over my eyelids and then I am blending it with my ring finger really nicely. Then I am taking Max Paint Pot in Soft Ochre and I will be applying all over my eyelid. This will just help to cancel out any pigmentation on my eyes and also it will help my eyeshadows to stay better. Then I am taking Makeup Geek's uh, Creme Brulee and I will be taking it with a fluffy blending brush and just applying to the crease. I am just softening my crease uh, and defining my crease with it. Then I'm taking Makeup Geek's Chickadee and it's a very pretty color and again with a fluffy blending brush I will be just applying it to my crease for that really nice gradient effect. Then I'm taking my Sleeks palette and it's Ultra Matte uh, Volume 4 and I'm taking the color called Dragonfly. It's a really dark green color and I'm just applying to my lids with a flat shader brush. Then from the same palette, I'm taking a color called Cricket. It's a lighter green and I'm just applying two inner corners like this, like inner third of uh, my eyes and just blending it with the darker one. Then I'm taking this really dark brown uh, eyeshadow. It's from Makeup Geek and it's called Mocha. But before that, I'm just applying some post-its uh, at the angle from my eyebrow to eye like this just to define that area and then I will be taking the shadow the mocha and with a small blending brush I will start blending it with the green and just I will concentrating to the outer corners just to make it a little smoky and side by side I am blending it with the green like this then by taking a smaller blending brush with the same gradient color I will be blending the harsh lines and also blending the color with the crease then I'm taking a black color and with a pencil brush and just concentrating on the outer corner I'll be just placing it with the pencil brush then I will be taking a blending brush a small blending brush and I will be just start blending to the brown and green and to the crease then I'll take a big fluffy brush and I will be blending it to my crease it will give a very soft and blended look then I'm taking white eyeshadow it's matte white eyeshadow and I'm taking a flat shape brush and just applying to my brow bone then I'm taking a um, yellow color from same sleeks palette and it's called Bambi I'm taking it with a small crease brush and I'm applying just to my tear duct area and blending it with green and after that I will be taking my sugars iso special eyeliner and i will be lining my eyes usually now this is my best part to remove post it and it will give a very nice clean edge then after that i will be taking my urban decay's perversion eyeliner and i will be applying to my lower lash line remember i'm not applying to my waterline i'm applying to my lower lash line and after that i will be taking some green and i'll be smudging it to my lower lash line like this Now for the waterline, I'm using NYX Wonder Pencil. It's in nude color and just applying to the waterline. Now I will be applying some fake lashes and I'm using these lashes. These are some Chinese lashes. I don't know where I get caught from. And now I am doing my face and I am correcting my under eye dark circles. First with Max NW35 if you want to see the whole detailed um, way of correcting it i will be linking a 
video link and then I will be uh, just applying my foundation and I'm using Lakme 95 foundation with a stippling brush I used a stippling brush for applying it but trust me guys it's best to apply this foundation by your fingers uh, nothing gives a better uh, coverage and finish than your fingers for this foundation so yeah then to cover my dark circles I'm actually concealing with max pro long wear concealer in NC42 and I'm just applying to under eye area and I will be blending it with my real techniques blending brush uh, concealer brush like this And for highlighting, I am using Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. I know it's like really really light uh, shade for my skin but trust me guys it's really blendable and the more you blend the more natural it will look and it just gives a beautiful finish. I just love it. And after that I will be taking my LA Girl Pro Con Concealer in the color espresso and I will be just applying to hollows of my cheeks and then I will be blending with my elves contour brush and after that I will be just taking some powder loose powder and I will be just cooking the highlighted area by just placing some powder and then I am settling my uh, contour with my Anastasia contour powder and just applying it and then I will be um, coming to my lips and I'm applying NYX Nutmeg Lip Liner uh, and after that I will be taking Color Pops button and just applying uh, all over my lips like this after that I will be taking my Ofra's uh, Laguna Beach uh, shade and I will be applying onto my lips and I really love the, this combination and I love the outcome of the whole thing then I will be just dusting the excess powder on my skin with a big huge giant fan brush and yeah and then I will be applying some blush it's a peachy blush from elf and after that I will be also applying some highlighter I'm using max soft and gentle and I'm applying very little bit and yeah now I will be doing my eyebrows and then I will be just opening my hair complete look i hope you like it i love this look and let me know if you want to see these kind of more colorful versions of i looked i'll do it for you just let me know in the comment section and yeah that's it for the look and i hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and it was helpful for you guys Thank you everyone for watching, please do subscribe, bye bye.